In this video, we will cover how to set your Z0 by using a touch hop puck or the manual method. With your material locked down to your table and your tool secured into the spindle, plug in the touch hop puck. The touch hop puck will be placed on either the bottom of the material or at the top. This is determined by the setting in your design software. Press the auto zero button on the controller. The Z will now move in the negative direction until it makes contact. After the calibration is complete, your Z0 is now set. You may now remove your touch-off puck. When using fragile bits, like this 18 degree carbon liner tool, it's best to use the manual method. If we were to use a touch-off puck, we risk breaking this tool. A quick tech tip here. Remember to always set your Z0 in the same spot if using multiple bits. This helps to rule out any inconsistencies in the material that may cause unwanted tool marks. For the manual method, you can use a flashlight or a sheet of paper. Using the step mode, jog the bit down to the surface of the material. Once close, use a flashlight and lower the bit down until it makes contact with the shadow. Now, highlight the Z axis and press set zero. Your Z0 is now set. It's important to remember, if you are working on a job with multiple tools, your Z0 must be set in between each tool change. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to check out some of the other videos on our YouTube channel, or visit us online at lagunatools.com. And thank you for choosing Laguna Tools.